160 freshman students enrolled at Dixie State University boarded four buses, headed to a place most had heard of but never seen before. Short Creek is a combined community located on the border of northern Arizona and southern Utah. Hilldale and Colorado City used to house around 13,000 people in its day, but drastic changes among the Mormon fundamentalists, or FLDS community, dropped that number significantly. The community is trying to make a comeback after church cult leader Warren Jeffs was imprisoned in 2006. The students heard firsthand from two female leaders in the community who left the church and openly spoke about what happened to them during the nearly two decades of his ruling. And when Warren came in, he completely changed everything and he split the families up. He wanted that power, that rule over everyone. And he, he did it by getting into the businesses, taking businesses apart, um, splitting families up, removing the fathers from the homes. You may have heard the term the lost boys boys that were sent away from the creek. There were also girls, grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, aunts, uncles. Every single family that lived here at the creek has been ripped in half. So there's not one family that's completely intact here. I, I was having issues with Warren Jeffs from the moment he walked on the stage. But the day he stood up and said, take your children out of public school, that's when a chill ran down my back. And I literally, leaned forward and I looked at the two side doors for our church house and they were closed. And I looked forward and I thought, this is the day they're gonna trot in the Kool-Aid. Students in this community engagement class are reading I Am Malala, which has common themes that parallel the value of education in a community. Students split up and headed out to different locations throughout the area. This group arrived at an abandoned home in Hilldale that is being renovated for repurpose. The students volunteered their time to tear out the old and ready for the new. The mayor said most of the 700 homes in the community that wouldn't work with the UEP for non-payment of back taxes were evicted or abandoned. This is a Cherish family's home. We have about 150 students from DSU on different service projects throughout the community. Um, we have a crew here. They are cleaning the downstairs and preparing the upstairs to have some reconstruction done on it. All of the evictions are done in Hildell. There are no more evictions. Now it is just um, helping people with their housing problems. But uh, there are more evictions going on in Colorado City. People have chosen to not work with the UEP and the judge has ordered evictions for all of the homes that are not working with the UEP anymore. And this house has been empty for two years. So we're excited to be able to put some families in it and take care of some of the housing issues here. Other students were sent to City Hall where they focused on a variety of issues the community is still facing. Um, we're talking about different businesses we want to bring into the city, um, some issues with water and zoning and, and public health and things like that. And I think they're bringing us in here so we can get a little bit of a different perspective and see if we can get any ideas that might help the community. This site will soon be Creek Valley Healthcare a renovated community health clinic. DSU students prepared the ground outside for the laying of new sod. It's been pretty cool getting to be a part of um, kind of making it look better. It look at people who are helping you and the people that you're doing it for and service is always a great thing to do. And it's exciting to see that we're finally laying sod and just kind of the work that it takes to get to this point. It's been a long time since this community has had a health clinic. This was an existing annex of the Hildale Clinic. And so we used to have primary care in the community. Warren Jeff shut this down. This was an annex of that, so it was previously a clinic. And a tour of the building before. inside shows more renovations. So the remodeling of the old reception. healthcare clinic before it was shut down is all volunteer labor. It's amazing work to watch what uh, their whole community is doing together. And it's, it's a partnership that we're certainly invested in. It's nice that we get to do something, give back from, you know, we're from a place where we don't have to deal with that sort of thing, so it's nice to be able to help some people out who could really use it. Draper said they hope to have this new clinic open by the end of the year. Across the street, another group of students were busy cleaning inside and out of Colorado City's old school. This will soon be the community's temporary home for the Marshal's office. I never thought that my formal education would include you know, sleeping out, well, soon to be police stations. Our goal is to be actually in the building in about three weeks time. And that means having it all finished and ready to go. 
and so the, the students out helping today will help us further that along as we get ready to move. Over the last year, the Colorado City Marshal's Office upped its positions to 10 full-time deputies, dual certified to serve both communities, and one part-time deputy to uphold the peace in the area. Due to the high vacancy rate, law enforcement here now have 24-7 coverage with at least two deputies on at all times. Within the community, we have every other problem that a regular community has, from drugs to vandalism to theft. Uh, there are, those are just standard issues. We have less of some of those things than some communities, and we might have a little more like vandalism than some other communities. Hilldale and Colorado City are divided by Short Creek, which runs along the border of each community. In 2015, this creek overflowed with disastrous flash flood waters, sweeping away 13 people to their deaths. Even though these two communities have undergone many tragedies, the walls are slowly coming down, building trust and a sense of great transformation. It makes me so happy to know that families are stabilizing, that we're working through some of the traumas that happened, that we're normalizing our community, that it's a safe place to raise our children. Mayor Jessup said while it took about 20 years under Warren Jeff's regime to tear this community apart, it won't take as long to rebuild it. The outside walls are slowly coming down and new businesses are already popping up. An estimated 40 percent are living here in poverty, but with the help from outside communities being accepted, those who have chosen to stay and work through the changes will reap the benefits in the future. From Short Creek, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.